So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our work biology exam revision series, we have here these 10 why cryptid questions to answer on the topic concept of living. So guys, this video will be about hormonal coordination. So in short, it's at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and start with the first question here. It says, which of the following endocrine glands is a master gland? We have A, ovary. B. Pancreas, C. Pituitary gland, and D. Thyroid gland. So guys, the answer to this question is option C, and that's the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland is also known as the master gland, and that's because it secretes hormones that control the rest of the other endocrine glands, and that's it for this question. So let's consider the next question. Question number two here it says, the table below shows the effect of hormones I, II, III, and IV on some parts of the human body where the symbol good represents effect and the symbol X represents no effect of hormone on the corresponding parts of the body so study it and answer the question below so guys we've seen this table here we have on each of these columns we have hormone effects on heart effects on digestive system effects on kidney and effects on uterus so the question here says the hormone responsible for anxiety is a I, I, B, I, V, C, I, and D, I, I, I. So guys, already we should know that this hormone we are talking about should be the adrenaline. So when we check the hormone that has the same effects as the adrenaline here on this table, we notice that it's hormone I, which has an effect on both the heart the digestive system, the kidney, and the uterus. So that's it for that question. Option C is the answer to this question. So let's consider the next question here. Question number three, it says, which of the following diseases results from the deficiency of insulin? We have A, goiter, B, beriberi, C, cretinism, and D, diabetes. So guys, obviously, like you should have guessed rightly, the answer to this question is option D, and that's diabetes. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number four here, it says, which of the following statements is not true about hormones? A, they are transported by the blood to the target organs. B, they may affect more than one target organ. C, they are responses are voluntary d they are chemical messengers in animals so guys the answer to this question here is option c their responses are voluntary so guys responses of hormones are actually not voluntary and that's the answer to this question option c is the answer here so let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number five here, it says, which of the following glands secrete a substance into the bloodstream of a frightened person? We have A, parathyroid glands, B, adrenal gland, C, salivary glands, D, gastric glands. So guys, the answer to this question is option B, and that's the adrenal gland. So the adrenal gland secretes adrenaline into the system of a frightened person so remember the adrenaline is a fight or fright hormone so guys the adrenaline is usually secreted into the system of a frightened person from the adrenal gland so option b is the answer to this question so let's go ahead and consider the next question here question number six it says which of the following is not a function of insulin we have a Accelerates the rate at which glucose is converted to glycogen. B. 
promotes the uptake of glucose by tissues. C regulates the amount of glucose in the blood. D stimulates muscle to oxidize glucose. So guys, the answer to this question is option D here and that stimulates the muscle to oxidize glucose. So guys, the insulin does not directly stimulate the muscle to oxidize glucose. However, insulin can regulate the glucose in the blood, that's the level of glucose in the blood. It can also promote uptake of glucose by tissues. It can also accelerate the rate at which glucose is converted to glycogen. But guys, insulin does not directly cause the muscle to oxidize glucose. And that's the answer to this question, option D. So let's consider the next question, question number 78 says, Hormones are transported around the mammalian body by A. Water, B. Osmosis, C. Nerves, D. Blood. So guys, the answer to this question is option D here, and that's blood. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. That's question number 88. Says, which of the following organs is responsible for the production of insulin? We have A. Pancreas, B. Thyroid, C. Spleen, and D. Adrenal gland. So guys, the organ that is responsible for production of insulin here is the pancreas, and that's option A. So let's consider the next question here, question number 9. It says, adrenaline is considered a hormone for fright and flight because it plays a role in the pH of the body fluid. B, controls a fluid content of the body. C, is used in protein metabolism and D prepares the body for action. So guys, the answer to this question is option D here and that prepares the body for action. So that's it for that question. So let's go ahead and consider the next and the last question here. It says increasing adrenaline content of the blood would be expected to decrease the flow of blood to the A, heart, B, liver, C, brain, and D, lungs. So guys, the answer to this question is option A, and that's heart. So adrenaline prepares the body for fright and then reduces the rate at which blood flows to the heart. And that's it for that question. So guys, this is where we end this video for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber. Also, if you have any specific question regarding this video, you can drop your question on the comment section below and we'll be sure to give you a response. So finally, guys, we want to encourage you to join our YouTube channel community where we we'll post major updates on YAC examination. So this will help you a lot even as you prepare for your work examination for the year. You can join this channel community by hitting the join button below. I will see you right there. So, thank you once again for watching this video and see you on the next one.